changing for me. No, but I remember what six months ago, four months, four months. Yes, ago. I was, I was psychotic. I was gonna kill myself. I was depressed. breaking down, depressed. I was not sleeping. I was not eating. I was not. Um, basically, it was the end for me. Why was it the end for me? Because for the first time in my, well, for the first time, I couldn't make the people that expect me to be happy happy my parents and family and stuff and um, since then things have just been amazing and um, what, what what is amazing what if what what did that look like what did that feel like to you just uh, uh, happiness bliss I was I was surprised at myself how small things make me happy how stupid things make me happy things that never mattered before now all of a sudden they matter those little tiny things in your day uh, they just matter and they just make you so happy and that happiness diverts your mind from or diverts your energy from being negative and thinking about bad things and it just it just becomes into it just you go into the circle of just being happy and you you yourself don't know why you're happy I really can't answer it to myself because nothing is there's nothing new in my life it's just everything that was there before it's just looking at it from a different angle well, I remember when we met, you had a situation in a relationship that was ending, and you couldn't quite get over it. Yes, I couldn't. And and so what's transpired since that, and where are you at now with the relationship and more? But I'm, I'm happy that, it was, that it's over. I was not happy at that moment because I didn't understand what really happened. But it took me time to realize that it doesn't matter what really happened. The fact was that that was a very that was just toxic for me. That was not good for me. That was not meant for me. And since I started this whole thing, I have this belief now that destiny is what you make of it. It's it exists. Destiny does exist. So you're creating your destiny. Yes. And how are you creating it now? Ah, with roses, lots and lots <laughs> of roses. <laughs> Oh, that's a good way to live. A life is a bed of roses. <laughs> yes. And you have a new relationship. I do, but um, it's not exactly what I wanted it to be. But I realized that I have to change my way of thinking because I'm never going to find or I'm never going to be happy unless I do that. But the problem is the way I think. It's a pattern. I've lived with this pattern. With this, It's like a blueprint that has been given down to me by my, my family, and if things don't live up to that blueprint, it's just wrong. That's the mentality that I have, and I realized that recently, that I'm living up to a blueprint, and if I just remove that blueprint, then what really exists, I just have to work with that to, to make it to make it wonderful. And I think that's 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 what I have to do now. Well, I think you're making great progress, Nantua. You Thank look like a completely you. different person. Thank and you. it's such a joy to watch you unfold and just blossom. Yeah. It's it's it's. I wish I could make. I wish I could show people what I was before and what I am today. It's a big, big, big difference. And that was and how long? Four months ago. Okay. And we've got what? Four more months. We've got four more months, and I just can't wait for the surprises that are going to come. <laughs> I look forward to next to tomorrow. Whereas in the past, I used to look forward to tomorrow to end my life. But now I just look forward to tomorrow as a new surprise. And That's it great. excites me. It's like a present from the universe. Good job. <laughs>